Alrighty folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. As promised, here's the high-speed slow-mo video with the Inland Manufacturing M1 carbine. This is a Scout version. I've got my 308 can on the front. Actually changed up the mounting system, still using the Bobro Engineering cantilevered one-inch mount. This time I've got my Vortex Crossfire 2, 4 to 12 by 40. Brings the scope nicely over the receiver. The M1 carbine is a side eject, so no issue with the brass hitting. So I'm testing two different rounds today. This is the Lehigh Defense 85 grain extreme cavitators. It's got the awesome square bit driver. And then I got some Magtech 110 grain full metal jacket. A lot of folks have not seen the square bit driver, the extreme cavitator design. I've got some uh, watermelon, three watermelon set up. I've got the high speed camera. Let's go ahead and take the shot. Nice! Let's see what that did. Total destruction! I think that was watermelon number one, number two, and number three. And see, and see, it still is expanding through number three. Okay, up next is the 110 grain full metal jacket Magtex. Here we go. We'll see what happened there. So I'm not sure if this was watermelon number one or two. Still had pretty good expansion on the first one, but not as much destructive force as that extreme cavitator from Lehigh Defense. Okay, here's the setup. I've got two 16-inch ballistic gel blocks. This one I just made up last Monday, FBI 10% spec. And this is the 85 grain Lehigh Defense extreme cavitator. So the design of the bullet is to cause massive wound cavities. Okay, here we go. Nice. Let's see what that did. Look at that wound cavity. That is phenomenal. Probably five inches in diameter. Permanent wound cavity. My gosh, stretches for probably 12 inches. And then the bullet actually comes to rest. That's probably another eight inches, so 24 inches of penetration. The bullet turned backwards, you see that? Tremendous. Look at the frontal wound cavity. Here's a cool shot with back lid on the sun. Look at that. You don't get better than that, folks. Let's go ahead and recover the bullet. All right, I got my tactical hemostats going in for the operation. Yes, sir. Look at that. That bullet's pristine now. All right, folks, if we look at the design, so these actually displace the uh, fluid or the mass, the medium, the flesh, that causes the wounding effect. Once again, these bolts are extremely barrier blind. I did not bring any denim. I'll show, I probably should do that on the next test. All right, up next is the 110 grain full metal jacket. Let's see what happened there. Hey folks, check that out. Look what's laying on the table. That would be the bullet. See what the wound cavity looks like. It looks like the continuation. That's pretty cool. That 
the uh, rubber caught the bullet on the uh, rebound there. So these blooms have uh, pretty much intersected. The high speed camera is going to show you this is probably the bloom from the full metal jacket. And obviously we got a complete pass through on both blocks. All right, folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Just goes to prove, sometimes you gotta think outside of the box for bullet designs. Lehigh Defense, obviously he's re-engineered the M1 carbine to be a valid self-defense weapon. You know, the 110 grain full metal jacket had pretty decent wound capabilities. However, it more, it over-penetrated at two 16 inch gel blocks at 32 inches. Would it be safe in a home defense situation? If you guys are going to use your M1 carbine as a home defense system, get the 85 grain Lehigh Defense Extreme Cavitators. These are uh, factory loaded, I think around 2100, 25 feet per second. Once again, the Inland Manufacturing M1 Scout came through. Got the uh, Omega Mount upper Picatinny rail. I put the big scope on there because I'm going to do some more accuracy tests. I've got my Coltec suppressor cover. Remember, support the Second Amendment. Please go to my Ballistic Kick at 2020 Outdoor Store video description below. Please help support my channel. Uh, you know, I pretty much have given up YouTube demonetizing my videos. This one will get demonetized. Why? Because I got ballistic gel in it. Go figure. All right, folks, I thank you very much. We'll see you later. Mm -hmm.